Okay, thanks, Melissa. Awaiting Governor McKee's response to a bipartisan letter signed by 33 state lawmakers asking him to scrap an upcoming deadline for all health care workers to be vaccinated. And 12 News reporter Kate Walsh is joining us live this morning with why these lawmakers are making this plea. We're live in front of the State House this morning here in Providence, and this is a copy of that exact letter that was penned by 24 Democrats and nine Republicans to Governor Dan McKee. And they said it's not an anti-vax letter. In fact, they're recommending everyone get vaccinated, but they're saying that it's not fair for the people who were hailed heroes for the whole entirety of the pandemic so far to suddenly be potentially without a job if this mandate goes through on October 1st as it's set to right Right now, so Governor Dan McKee has not responded directly to this letter yet, but recently he has said that his mandate was in the best interest of patient safety. In the letter, they said if McKee doesn't amend the October 1st deadline for healthcare workers to be vaccinated, that the House of Representatives here will reconvene to address what they call an extreme and unjust mandate. That's what they're asking. And Representative William O'Brien, who signed this letter, said his big concern was especially on pregnant healthcare workers who may still be hesitant to get the vaccine. The, the governor does not appear to be listening to these concerns. He is moving forward with blind with blinders on and doesn't want to hear anything that goes against his policy. Inclined to want to see people lose their jobs over this issue, but we are I am inclined to make sure that people know how important it is to get vaccinated. It's a similar situation over in Massachusetts. Governor Charlie Baker has set an October 31st mandate for some health care workers, especially those in nursing homes and home health care aides to get vaccinated. Live in Providence this morning, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News. Top story this half hour. You've seen the recent rallies by Rhode Island's health care workers opposing Governor McKee's vaccine mandate. All right, so now dozens of state lawmakers have sent a letter to the governor urging him to scrap the October 1st deadline completely. 12 News reporter Kate Walsh is live in Providence with why this was a bipartisan effort. Well, as of last check, which was late last night, Governor Dan McKee has not yet responded to this letter specifically. His staff said he hadn't personally read it yet, but we do know where he stands when it comes to this mandate he's enforcing, and that's he believes it's the best way to keep everyone safe, especially patients. Now, this letter was signed by 33 lawmakers, 24 Democrats, nine Republicans, and they said it's not about the vaccine itself. It's about health care workers losing their jobs over their personal choice not to get it for whatever reason that may be. This bipartisan letter was signed because they said they want everyone to get vaccinated, but those working the front lines well before the vaccine was even out there shouldn't, least, shouldn't suddenly lose their jobs over it. Now the thanks that we're going to give them is now that you've gotten us to this point where we're below 3%, you, we're going to take your job. Taking a strong stand as the universities have um, and others uh, is only to benefit of as the hospitals have done the same thing. Now that representative you heard from, who's from Coventry, Tom Noray, he said an example of why they believe this mandate is wrong is that if healthcare workers lose their jobs, well, that would mean potentially longer wait times for patients in emergency departments if there are fewer people on staff. Live in Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.